Greetings fellow miner jack. What a weird term. So the union of a miner and a lumberjack makes for a miner jack. Anywho, I suppose that gives away today's topic, which is a guide of the auger and the chainsaw. And ain't that terribly exciting to the point of immediately closing the video. No, 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 just kidding. Keep that window open. It's not going to be too long and you might learn a few new bits here and there. Now the auger and to some degree the chainsaw are arguably two of the best power tools to get in the game, early on at least. Later on, they are still useful in certain situations, but early on they can really boost your character as well as helping you stockpile resources. But uh, let's get the negatives out of the way early on, and that is the horrible awful noise that it makes when you use it. It makes me wish for the air protection upgrade as it's really loud and annoying. Even worse, if you make videos like this or stream as you end up having to lower the game volume just to make yourself heard. And of course, the auger jitter as it kicks around like a mad horse as you use it. It is not for brain surgery, ladies and gentlemen. It's more of a point in the general direction and try to manage the recoil as it bounces all over. There are ways to mod the XML to remove or reduce the recoil, but I'm not going to cover that today. So where do we find ourselves some power tools? Well, the good news is that there are multiple avenues. Firstly, we can buy them at the trader, such as Trader Bob here. Once in a while, the traders will sell all the parts out of which uh, the parts and blade are the most important. And uh, the traders also can sell the whole auger and the chainsaw if you have a bit of extra luck, though they do cost a pretty penny. As an added benefit, you can also get the schematics to both the auger and chainsaw at the traders if you have some luck. If you are missing, say, just a blade and have everything else, it is worthwhile to check the traders around you and just buy the last item. But uh, what if you lack the money or just can't find one of the traders? Well, the next best bet is to just go looting for them. Destroyed workbenches, working stiff boxes, cars, and so on can come with individual parts or, if you're really lucky, with a fully assembled chainsaw. Unfortunately, we didn't get it here, but they do exist in the loot. Basically, anywhere you could realistically find a power tool, you have a chance of finding one in the game as well. While it's not exactly super rare, it can take a fair bit of looting to find one. The third one is to not just loot the buildings, but also loot the zombies. Some zombies such as the lumberjacks, biker, utility workers or the farmer can also come with the chainsaw and auger loot. Again, either in parts or the full tool. This hour means that you have to specifically seek out certain types of zombies, especially the biker and the utility worker like I've shown here, because they have good loot tables. It is worthwhile to kill them when you run across them. And then, if nothing else, you can always use the chainsaw to kill them. Let's see, well, none here, and uh, our good friend here. Oh, he's still alive. Let's see if we can get him here, and... Uh, Nope, unfortunately, we didn't find him here either. Beyond the actual tools, you really also want to make sure that you read the chainsaw schematic and or the auger schematic. This allows you not to just assemble it and change around the parts you find for better ones, but also allows you to repair the whole power tool and to repair and upgrade the blades. So it is quite important as using the auger and chainsaw drains its durability and without a way to repair them, you'll be stuck with a broken down power tool, which is of no use whatsoever. As mentioned, the books can be found at the traders or just looted along with other schematics. Hitting the Kraken book tower is usually a great way to get a lot of schematics. But let's assume you were not lucky enough to find the whole power tool, just some of the parts. So how do you put it all together? Well, for both the chainsaw and the auger, they require very similar components. Let me do a assemble here. You'll see they have the chainsaw parts, has an engine, handlebars, and the chainsaw blade. And it's pretty much the same for the auger, except it's uh, auger parts and auger blade, but it still requires the engine and the handlebars. Now the handlebars can actually be crafted in the workbench. Requires a couple of duct tape, leather, mechanical part, and some short iron pipes, and you will be able to craft that. Now, the durability and or quality of this one is gonna be based on your science perk. The engines that you need, you can loot them, or it's easiest to just wrench cars, and eventually you will end up with an engine along with other nice loot. Once you have the schematic and the parts, 
you basically just assemble them into the auger and chainsaw. So you keep everything inside your inventory, hit assemble, you plop in the different parts that you have. You, know, you can either drag them or you can shift left click and they will pop in. When it's done, you either close or complete and now the chainsaw is done. You do the same thing for the auger and that's how you assemble it. Or let's say you want to change out uh, one of the components you assemble. You can drag in the new component and just change it out. Of course, you want to have the highest quality one because then it does more damage. Now, the auger and chainsaw blades are also quite peculiar in that they have a crafting path in the workbench. So you craft an auger blade using forge steel, repair kit, and an auger blade. What? You need an auger blade to craft an auger blade? What kind of stupid is that? Well, it's actually not very stupid, but it is a bit confusing to especially new players. What it is, rather than crafting, is really more of an upgrade or improvement. Think of it as repairing or improving the blade. As you can't repair individual parts, you are recrafting the blade into a higher level blade instead. This will use your weapon perk. So it goes from level 1 giving you 50 quality to level 10 giving you 500 quality. This is important to note. As if you find a quality 400 blade and your weapon perk is at 4, if you recraft it, it's going to bring it down to 200, it's not going to bring it up. And trust me, I've done it. It's really annoying. So don't do it. Make sure you check your weapon perk level first. So you basically select it and you do recipes and you do craft. So this one is going to change and go up to quality number 500. And that's because my weaponsmithing is a 10. So that gives me a 500 level blade. The same goes for the chainsaw blade. Some steel repair kit and the chainsaw blade, you craft it and you will have a higher level one in this case going to be 500 quality as well. Do note that in Alpha 16, auger and chainsaw quality does not degrade when you repair the whole chainsaw auger they used to do. And it's likely just a bug, but it does make keeping the auger in good quality a lot easier. Something to also consider when using the auger or chainsaw at or near the surface is that it does add to the heat map and continued usage such as while digging up a treasure in the ground is pretty likely to be enough heat to spawn a screamer or two. If you are further underground, it wouldn't really matter as the screamer will just stand on the surface while you happily continue mining. Now let's get down to using the power tools and this is the fun part. Let's start with the chainsaw. While it performs alright as a weapon, it really can massacre zombies as you see. It shines in tearing through wood. And not just trees. It works just as well for wooden structures. Which is good if you built a lot out of wood and you need to tear it down. Use the chainsaw to save yourself a lot of time. Early game, a high quality chainsaw can really help you collect a lot of wood fast. And do a number on zombie hordes. Late game, it still works for clearing out your tree farm. Although Steel Axe does an okay job as well. You do trade some fuel for time effectively. Now the auger is a different matter. With mining giving experience, with a good quality auger, a bunch of fuel and repair kits, you can spend a night mining and come out 10 or 20 levels higher in the morning. And that is in addition to all the resources you found. It works fine on stone, but where it really shines is dirt, clay and especially sand. Now this makes desert an ideal place. You grab a bunch of yucca fruit for food and drink and you dig down and just start mining in a straight line, say down at minus 50. With sand melting away from the auger really quick, you're soaking up the experience while also collecting thousands of sand. Even better, doing this is likely to uncover all sorts of resources such as iron and oil shale which exist in large quantities in the desert. And since clearing sand is fast, you can find a lot of deposits. Throw in the odd nitrate and maybe even some gold, silver or diamonds and you should be making it out of there not just loaded on experience but also literally with thousands or tens of thousands of iron, oil shale and of course sand. Oil shale goes to making fuel, the iron melts down to, well, iron and sand is great for all the concrete mix you're bound to be mixing sooner or later. Boosting the miner 69er skill is just going to speed this up while increasing your resource yields. Going down in the evening and coming out 10, 20 levels later in the morning gives you a lot of skill points to allocate your character in advance. Using the auger on stone is acceptable early on. Later on in the game, as your miner 69er is up high enough and you got access to top quality steel pick, it's a waste to mine stone with it. 
Why? As your steel pickaxe can one-shot stone anyhow, which is faster while saving you fuel. And of course your eardrums. Did I mention how horrible the sound is from these power tools? If you do find coal and nitrate, for instance, usually using the auger gives you a higher yield than normal tools, and it's faster anyhow, which is always a bonus. It works pretty well on iron and steel blocks as well when exploring, and it tears through some other blocks as long as they're not wood, so it's quite a versatile tool to bring on loot runs. You could kill zombies with auger, but do us a favor, use the chainsaw, looks better, and be that zombie slayer you always dreamt of being. And uh, yeah, you didn't forget to like and subscribe, right? Good, I appreciate it. So did I miss any good usage of the auger or chainsaw? Or how do you use them? Discuss in the comment section. See you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link below.